Hello and welcome to the Okeechobee Library's YouTube channel. I'm Sonia. Mother's Day occurs in May, so for our Book Bites this month, we will be discussing books featuring mother relationships and the mothers as the focal point in the story. My choice today is Vox by Christina Dalker. This book is strange because it dabbles on the realm of dystopian without actually being a dystopian. So in this book, we follow Dr. Jean McClellan. She lives in a version of America in which women and women's rights are very restricted. So at the point where this story starts, women have been um, restricted to only 100 words per day. And they actually have bracelets that have counters of how many words they're speaking. And if they try to go over 100, it gives them a severe electric shock. So this version of America is very restrictive on women. Um, and Dr. Jean feels that pressure because she's used to being, she was a scientist, so she's used to being a strong woman whose opinions were heard and were valued. Um, when the president who has kind of led the movements that have ended up restricting women, when his brother, come, it's found out that his brother has a brain uh, disease of some sort, Dr. Jean is asked to go and treat him because she's one of the uh, experts in that field. So um, she ends up working with this government team to help find a cure for this disease and because of that she's granted access to different laboratories and different information and so she decides that she's finally going to take a stand and help bring down this new radical movement from the inside. So it borders on the realm of dystopian in that this is such a nightmarish and exaggerated view of what women's rights and, and, and things could turn into, but it's not completely dystopian because it does put the story in our time and it does it in such a subtle way that you're, the line between reality and fantasy ends up being blurred in the book. So it's a very good read, um, very quick, very short chapters, but if you want to read a story about a mother who is trying to just make sure that her daughter has a better future and make sure that her son grows up in a world where he and his uh, sister are equals and have the same opportunities, um, I would definitely read this book. So if you're interested in this book or other um, mother relationship type books, please check back on our channel for more Book Bites this month. And be sure to like and subscribe for more book and DVD recommendations and videos on crafts, STEM, and more. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.